everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. Uh, we just completed Nethreal Battle 1, so I'll load the Nethreal Battle 1s they've completed. Oh, we have our old goodies this time. Excellent. I wonder if you can pistol start this. I imagine you probably can. Um, for those who don't know, whenever you die in Doom and game over, you load back into the start of every new map with pistol. But every map was actually designed to be beaten like that. Maybe not, you know, exclusively like that, but... Okay, so we can't go back there. That's fine. Um, so, like, fresh restarting on every Doom map is the way that some people play. Because, like, what's to stop you from taking a BFG from the last, like, episode or map? And then just coming in and ruining everyone's day. Some would say that makes it too easy. I think that that's part of the fun of it, seeing how long you can carry a particular weapon. And also, like, killing people with pistols is painful. Especially on uh, tougher teams. On the regular grunts, like, it's okay, I guess, to kill them with a pistol just so you can get a shotgun and kill them with that. But, like, there's a reason that, like, Quake and I think Doom Eternal, like, give you the shotgun so early on. And, in fact, replace the pistol with it is the actual example I'm thinking of. Um... I think I'm being invisible walled here. Yeah. That's cool. Um. Broken Forge Elemental. One of my orky or goblin -y sisters. And bay rails I can jump on. Hmm. Gotta say. This engine, I think this is id Tech 1. Or maybe it's id Tech 2. Maybe id Tech 1 was Wolfenstein. Does not lend itself well to hills. You know, we just get mazes. Yeah, so some people really like pistol starting. Damn it. I'm gonna load that. Hey, in loading my save, I discovered that there's a bridge above me. And I didn't actually see where it goes, so we'll find that out, I guess. My apologies. Accidentally mistakenly hit the button to use my super rare special item. So it was this way. Maybe we'll see where it goes later, but if at all possible, I do want to get back there. Um, so yeah, like on like if someone's doing like a hardcore playthrough of Doom where it's like max difficulty or second highest difficulty because the highest difficulty in Doom is just kind of stupid. Um, in Doom 2016, the highest difficulty means that you can't save, and you have to get through the whole game on a single life. I think in a single sitting, too, although they might have exit saves. The coward's way out. Um. And then the highest difficulty in the original Doom, and I believe Doom 2 as well, uh, enemies respawn. Which is like... Whatever, it just adds a little more difficulty. Okay, is there a way for me to jump from this thing that I was on? Huh. Maybe. I didn't mean to fall off there. Um, I'm gonna try it again. Alright, I don't think that there's a, an intended way to get there. Unless I, you know, just shortcut to it later, so... Let's start off episode seven then, huh? I didn't actually put start in any of the other ones, but maybe I'll have to start uh, rotating my saves better, so it might be better to have the more names that I can give them. Like episode seven. Hello? Hello? This is a pretty good track. I feel like it might be in my better interests to go loud here. Just based on the music. Oh man. Well, they've given me a whole bunch of goodies. Bless 
Bastard. Okay. Huh. Not what I expected from the hype music. This is a pretty good track. Oh yes, it's also been like a week since I last recorded. For whatever reason, I can only get the motivation. Oh god. Oh god. Excuse me, fellas. Alright, if we're gonna keep getting lost souls, then... Whatever those things are called. Forge Elementals. That's okay. Yeah, if we're gonna keep getting lost souls, then maybe it's in our best interest to just keep this thing out. Okay. Then again, maybe they wouldn't give us like a super crazy. That was a huge run. Huh? Maybe they wouldn't give us a super crazy like mega run because we did just do a huge boss. Like I'm coming in fresh, expecting like more heavy, but like. We had a pretty climactic battle last time, so they're probably just gonna like chill us out after. You know? okay. Oh man, that's jank. I uh back in I think episode four, I commented on standing on uh things that are too small to be stood on. Like it just looks jank to stand on a 2D object in the 3D game. And so most would make the, I believe, correct assumption that you can't stand on most of the 2D objects. And it actually blocked my progress at one point. Because I was like, stand on these. I'm game safe. Yeah, just lame it out in here. Make John Carmack proud and lame it out. Look at this. You're making yourself a nuisance. Backfire can? Children Maker's got into a fight again. This time they cracked one of the windows in the barracks. The crystal glass may stand up to its reputation, but we will have to replace it. Uh, make sure you have the make the right requisition next time to the supply caravan. I'll be heading down to the Gordon Fortress tomorrow to settle a few important matters. I barely have time to get those rattly bear warriors a punishment. Their discipline seems to be as shaky as everything else lately. Nevertheless, I'm counting on you to handle things till I return. Don't forget to patch the leaking pipes in the inner court. All right, that's a dendro. This song just keeps going. And like, not in that it's like continuing on for a long time, but it keeps evolving, giving me new stuff. Okay, now is when we go back. here. Every day it's a shame that leather and slutty clothes don't protect you from the dangers of acid. Ain't that just the way it goes? So we were in here. There was another way through there, but I really don't want to go through there. It was kind of a pain. A plate of polenta. Lunchtime for my kids. Well, that was the only thing that I saw, so... Oh, wait, maybe I should go out... There's this. Hell yeah, more mirror tech. Toilet. Second toilet. 
Look, I know that healing potions get not fucking everywhere, and they're always on the floor, but, like, in my real life, I don't think I would ever be in dire enough straits to pick something up off the floor and drink it. Who are you? Oh, I guess it's like a dwarf. Those bear warriors? Oh man, they pincer attacked me. Clever. Clever girls. Oh man, and then these chuckle fucks appeared. There we go. Wow, I just. I ate way more of those than I was intending. Let's blow it back up. Play smarter, not harder. I think I got that one. Man, that pincer attack was pretty good. That was, pre that was pretty good, honestly. Like, it offset me. It screwed up my balance. Damn. I don't think that there's a headshot bonus in this game. This reminds me of the deep end. I think it's a Yeah, well. Hey, and we're back. Why did I... <laughs> Whoops. Why did I let that happen to me? Man, that's overkill. I don't have any of these. I've actually found, like, that was very good. That was just what I wanted. Um, I found their area denial of the, like, not the acid ones, the normal ones, to be actually pretty useful. Yeah, the way that they, like, set you up and then just spike you. Like, you run in here and then you get pincer attack. And then you run back, you're like, oh shit. And then as you go back, this area is repopulated and full of guys. That's pretty smart. I think that's a pretty cool one. Uh, can I get you to come out and play? There you go. I don't know if these, like, are destroying their armor or if it's just the, like, AOE. Or if it's just the huge burst damage that they don't block. And then did this area repopulate back here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now I've got the health to actually defend myself. Where's that coming from? Somebody's in here throwing shit. Throwing in lives. Oh, it's you! God damn it. Well, luckily, there's a few uh, healing potions scattered around on the floor. Wanna jump? Bingo. Some tomatoes. Hell yeah. Alright, cool. I feel good about that. Oh, and then we go back to here. Yeah, to here. Okay, cool. We hadn't gone in here and picked that up in the save. Okay, cool. Um so where Okay, so now it's repopulated, and now it's actually supposed to have repopulated as well. Earlier, I think I gun jumped by the way that I had done it. 
Maybe it was still intended because I talked about how like that was a pretty clever way to screw over the player. I think walking in water slows is interesting. Review effects. Okay, so we had gone down here, but we hadn't actually hit much of this door. Oh man. Earth cube. Great. Okay. Cool. The second I can stop opening doors and stop finding new areas, the happier I get. My god, guys. Oh, they have the little outfits there. It's fun. Medium armor I get. Cool. Door three. Okay, and that's door four. But I have actually seen the other side of door four. The temptation to not just be a G through everything is really hard. I'll try to control myself and only shotgun to the chin. Okay, so door four is something that we had looked at, but we hadn't gotten into. And it looks like it doesn't even open from this side. Maybe it doesn't open from either side. I didn't I didn't know what was happening there. I don't know why. I was like, guys? Enemies? Crazy, I know. Can I? Thank you. Oh, is that everyone? Damn. Shame. The basic crystals. It has the most common, one of the most common magical crystals found in the underground is the bright cyan one. It goes in spiral patterns and more formation coils around the greater its age. It has an interesting property. It has interesting properties, ranging from producing heat through an inner vibration, um, to being able to attract or reject them. Oh, so it's magnetic. Sorry. Uh, the light and warmth generated by the crystal allow for a lush floor to thrive away from sunlight. Its use in our tech will be detailed later on. Yellow crystals are a fairly common sight. Formed in bundles, but unlike cyan, they possess the same they don't possess the same ability to grow in time. Therefore, it is considered they are a finite resource and regarded as more valuable. Their main property is they store energy required to power our machines. The power of these crystals is measured by the intensity of the glow. A bright core is generally suited for powering large installations, but is more unstable. For this reason, our energy guns, such as sentry turrets or cry, cry lances, employ depleted shards that have a duller glow. Uh, armor amulets created from the same crystals, but they are imbued with the with magical spells. The process ends up altering the color, but this will be better detailed in the future chapter. Cool. I always love whenever people actually put science on. Oh, we can put the we can open the doors that we couldn't open. Clever. And when you have the time. Pass by the archive and bring your shovel. I've heard strange noise behind one of the wall panels. Make sure we don't have water. Oh boy. I think it's like pretty effective to use this thing on these guys. Because they drop the ammo. That's normally a good way to uh, to like recycle your ammo. If not, you know, environmentally uh, uh, conscientious, then ammunition conscientious. Oh, is this... This is a different outside. Okay, so I think I went through all the doors prior. I went through six, which was the little vent area. I went through five. But at some point I'll have to go back there. Um, and then four was the shortcut door, and then three is the progress door. just in my best interest to just click on buttons when I see them. Locked me on the side. Ah. 
scroll lies behind the chimney. You'll find it written in human language. Good, you found the second note. Pacing all three together will reveal the location of a map before you. You're good with rails, so let's play it safe. Oh, 05. The third part lies under the hibernating bear. Sacrificed. Can I pause? Uh, when I got killed, I decided it was a good time to backtrack and go into that area that I hadn't gone into, and this leads to a bathroom. Are these urinals? They're just, they look so weird flat against the wall. I guess the shower curtain isn't like the type for like privacy. It's here, yeah. Oh, cool. We can see outside, too. Um, where am I? I don't think I've been in here. Oh, this is the Earth Key Door thing. Well, if I have to go all the way back. That's where I'm going. And we're back. So, uh... Here. I just checked my walkthrough to make sure I'm doing the right thing, and it turns out that yes, you can get back here. I just went right instead of left. Like some kind of a ninny. But that's good. So yeah, there's goodies up here. Little cave and everything. It's actually pretty cool, though. Oh, we get righties, too. I some potions, grapes. Like this. That's okay. A little bath. Probably very stale water. Scribble with alchemical formulas. Ooh, a smoked ham was hanging there. That's not sweet. Go free, rat. I don't wish to hurt you. I like that you can see a smoked little like crater in here from where I uh, came from. From where I came from. What happened in real life when I uh, appeared as well? Oh, it's some stuff. Okay, I got a little flare there. Was like secret found. Maybe that's it. Again, I would consider that a secret. Um, maybe this is a spoiler, but. Well, then again, I might also just be able to see where I, you know, save and load. But I'm doing this on the day that uh, episode uh, four just came out. And so there's a lot of things that I heard in that episode. I watched it back just to make sure that the upload's fine. Uh, episode one has some bad audio. <sighs> really shouldn't be having bad audio. And if I'm talking, if I have bad audio right now, I, I like triple check it, but like, if something just happened to conspire to give me bad audio, and like, it would still be my fault, but like, if I happen to have bad audio as I'm talking about bad audio, like, I'm gonna have to stab myself. The irony would be too, too much. I missed this area. I guess I must have. <sighs> Okay, so this is the other side of this thing. Okay. That damn guy. I'm gonna save just in case. Anyway, yeah, um, but the first episode has bad audio, which I'm uh, embarrassed and annoyed about. Because, like, I've been doing this for almost two years. Actually, it'll be two years coming up pretty soon. Um, I started my channel right on the start of May. I'm over, dude. Um. And, like, my first LP, which is uh, Halo Reach, I think, has, like, pretty good audio. Like, it's not, like, amazing audio. Wow. Now, that's a statue. Got all the rivets and all that and everything. Nice one, too. 
statue I'd be proud to own. Um, anywho, so... Can't itch my eye. Can't itch my eye. Damn it. I can't itch my eye. Right. Ignore me. So anyway, um... Like, my first LP has pretty good audio, and so, like, after that, when I would have moments where I just had, like, really bad audio, like, Cry of Fear has, like, miserable audio. And, like, it was just kind of hard to make sure that episode recorded right, because, like, the game kind of doesn't run super good. Okay, let's see if I can explore this area without being jumped. Yeah, like, the game doesn't run, like, super amazing. And, like, it's a horror game, so mixing it is a pain in the ass always. Because, like, it's a horror game. They they are notorious for being, like, very quiet for, for a bit. And they get really loud. Wow, that was pretty gnarly. Anyone else? Oh, we're on the other side of the thing that we were standing on. Like, this hill is, uh, leads to the other side. Like, they put this thing here so it... Duh. God. Why not try the simple solution for once? It'd be funny if I could swing my axe and these trees would fall over. Nothing like a good old uh, uh, empty open wind sound. I noticed that. Okay, that looks like an area. Fancy journal, it's in the night sand. Earthly symbols decorated. It's been six days since that witch, Lith, came here with a war deactivation order. Can't help but wonder what they're doing. The order was indeed signed by the chieftain Zura, had the council's approval seal, but she received, refused to give out any information about what ritual was being. Has to be something strong, since we need to lower the ward so it doesn't tamper with their magic. Dandra didn't seem to care much. I believe she's going through a hard time keeping the base together. Now she's off to set off to the door of the fortress. Maybe I'm being too judgmental about witches. Nothing bad happened so far. The deactivation, deactivation order expires tomorrow. So I'll have to go turn on the crystal ward by myself, and I'll probably have some time to help the reaper's spell. Find out whoever stole that crystal ward. Look, I know that there would be no story if, like, nothing bad happened and it was just nice, but, like, man, is that too much to ask? I want all these fun, cool punch girls to just have a nice day. Like... They're all in the military together. Their only problems are usually like semi faulty equipment and like annoying dwarves. Sure didn't. Um Like they're probably almost all lesbians. It's like a paradise, you know? Just being a huge buff demon punch girl. I mean, I guess only some of them are demons. I think only Xanth is Almost all of them are horse. Damn. Got me. That probably opens back up to the inside. So what about this? Lock me inside. Okay, so we'll probably go down in there, under, through here, and into there. Okay, I just want to case the joint and make sure I'm not missing anything. I know I'm missing many things. I've already missed more things. Even after going back to get more things that I had missed, I had missed things. Maybe it might be good to take some crush bow rounds up there. I might need them. Well, then again, tight corners in the ground, so I'm not going to be able to get much use out of it. What are they ready? Two rats. Minkers. Excuse me, rats. 
That car can. Bingo. I see that there's a door. I will get to it shortly. See if that gives him something to think about. I think that hits. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, most of it is cleaned out. I think it was a little wasteful to use the crush bow rounds like it. But you know what? Too many people play uh, through shooters like this and never use any of their equipment or any of it. There's like, gotta save it. You know, what if there's a super boss later? And then they're gonna beat the final boss and they're gonna have a million potions in their inventory. You know? I don't care that you can't buy ethers. You gotta you gotta use them at some point, dude. It makes it easier. I feel like getting over like cringing every time I used any item ever was really Oh, there's zero and two. Uh it was really like crucial and helpful. Oh, those are uh, uh, sentry guns in the back. Ooh. All kinds of violence going on outside. What? <laughs> yeah, that that kind of that. Kind of. Okay, well, not too far. This is the one. This one. So, if I go this way. Right. There's not that much danger in here, so I can actually just, like, shoot normally. So I freaked out because I thought it was like the shadow lady attacking me, but as it happens, I think that's just a, uh, in Doom there is a default uh, power-up that gives you invisibility. Nice normal out here. Now those are fine. And here, nada. Oh, you can even see it turn on. Ooh. Okay. But yeah, there's just a default power up in Doom that gives you invisibility. Like it just it just makes you invisible. Like no two ways about it. And like it's one of those invisibilities that's like was the way that you're supposed to go. Because I went the other way first, turned on that, and made it a lot easier. Cool. Yeah, it's not like true invisibility, it just makes you like kind of grayed out. Um, and it means enemies will shoot to the side of you as opposed to like directly at you. Because, like, obviously the game has to tell that you're there in some way. And it normally opts for, like... It normally opts for just, like, instinctively just telling enemies where you are. Like, oh, they're just there. Because the game doesn't know that, because obviously the game is tracking your position, otherwise you would not be in control of your character. Um, and they, like, make it, like, a hearing thing as well. Just to be inaccurate. What is DS? Um. Bolt. Cool. Just to this upstairs. 
Okay, cool. So I was already even up. Which way? Then this leads to this. So I'll get the crystal key and bring it to you. Um. Oh, and that door opened so I can go through there now as well. Crystal ward control. So at some point I'm going to need to go back in there and I guess turn back on the door. Okay, and then these are these things. Sweet. I figured I would crack this up at some point. Let's just double check. Okay. Yes, die trash. Feeling good. Glad I didn't waste a bunch of ammo trying to shoot them from really far away. A green crystal? Oh, damn it, that was the thing that you need to be in for. What? They haven't really been like that this whole I'm almost sorry to say. Earth key. But this is the other side. I haven't heard of Oh, pick up the other. Oh, money duck. Crystal Ward may only be activated, deactivated under direct order of Atlantic Control. Should the powerful should a powerful magical ritual require to be performed, the commanding officer be instructed directly on when and how long the, f the defense should be done. Reactivating the ward can be done following two steps. Uh, commanding officer and aide must turn two switches. Use their keys on two switches that control the power crystal sources. The maintenance crew must manually turn on the four control pillars of the ward space. I think I did that. Um, the pillars can be activated at any time, but cannot stay idle, idle for hours. Okay, I think that just means that, like, I'm doing okay. And the middle switch will activate the ward. Don't activate if large-scale magic is being formed in Valk or its proximity. That's pretty cool and clever. Like, we have such good magic defense that, like, to do real magic, we have to shut off our really good magic defense. So this is planned almost like a heist deck. Crazy. For the recorders? I think I was in there. Repair now. Hey, there's something moving up. Stop it. Uh, there was an earth key like a really, really long time ago that I needed. Actually, I should really turn on the thing that I just got the earth key for, specifically. It wasn't you guys. I think it was in the upstairs up here. Okay. Crystal key, right. Okay, so that's that. And then this is just a door that's off to the... I'm getting confused about the layout. I guess I could look at the notes. Not very helpful. Sorry, Zam. But the map kind of sucks. There was an earthy way back here, so maybe I can go backwards and then turn on the... Like, do the earth key. He was in the big main hall, yeah? Which is through here, yeah? Yeah. And the earth I remember. And then this is another observatory. And then this is the barracks. Yeah, I was in here. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, you just hold the uh, the bow whenever. But there's... You hold the axe whenever you're in main. Interesting, so there's only two sprites. That's alright. Okay, so Earth Key got. So now we can open that door. Bunch of playing cards here. That's fine. It's all a very good post. Uh about how, like, the author loves whenever um, there's, like, a really, really dumb, like, part scene in a, in a thing and they invented a bunch of new part suits. So somebody drops down, like, three ravens and a king and the audience ooze and everyone knows that that's good. And then they're, and then they're like, 
the, the, the protagonist is like, oh, and everyone else shits their pants like, oh, you know, Pog Champ. And like, you just know that it's better. Someone was like, that's how I feel watching regular card, uh, card, uh, card game scenes. I gotta say, the perspective in the mirror looks kind of weird sometimes. Like, if Zam was proportioned that way, like, there would be nothing wrong with her. But, like, the art of her on, like, the Steam page and, like, in the thumbnails that I've been using, like, she's appropriately huge, I would say, you know? Okay, is there anything else that I can get to? Because I think I can just go run to the thing. Actually, it's been 40 minutes, and, like, I have been trying to keep these for 40 minutes, so I could just cut the episode. But yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Ride. Thank you for coming. I hope you all have a good day. See you next time.